just last week. The entire planet was on subway watch, hoping and praying that this thing with everybody on board would be found and everybody would be alive. We just heard from the Coast Guard. They have found human remains and we're actually seeing big chunks of the wreckage brought, I believe, to a facility in Canada. That's a sub all torn apart. You see the cheap wires on the inside. It was not made of steel. It was made out of some sort of fiberglass. The whole thing was lunacy. And I'm sorry, Stockton Rush, rest in peace, but you were totally out to lunch on so many issues. He wasn't alone, though. He's not alone. The whole culture is out of whack right now. What he said, President Biden agrees with him. One of the things you'll find, there are other sub-operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational, and I'm not going to inspire a 16-year-old to, to go pursue marine technology. Perhaps not, because your science and methodology was so warped, but it had nothing to, to do with you being a 50-something-year-old white guy. It sounds so pejorative, and everybody is saying it, and I absolutely hate it. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what's on the outside. It matters maybe the hard work, maybe the diligence, maybe the attention to detail, which was not Stockton Rush's specialty, unfortunately. All right, moving on. Joe Biden sounds very, very guilty to me. Uh, he's getting angry. The evidence is mounting. Uh, we have more text messages from Hunter that seem to be threatening somebody in China, telling you better give me money or else. Joe was asked about it. Watch. President Biden, how involved were you in your son's Chinese shakedown text message? Were you sitting there? It's were you involved? Were you involved? No, you involved? I wasn't. Were you? I don't know. Were you? No. No! He gets angry. Very angry. He's known to be a screamer behind closed doors, but this is getting under his skin. You know, they come at Trump all the time. He never actually loses his cool like that. Um, I do think he's guilty, and I think this, well, let's look at the new evidence, shall we, from the House Oversight Committee. More text messages from Hunter. Uh, this move to 5 million, 5M we believe is 5 million, is completely new to me and is not acceptable. Obviously, I can make five million in any law firm in America. If you think about, if you think it's about money, it's not. As soon as you say that, you know it's exactly about money. He could not make that kind of money in a law firm. Uh, I'm sorry, given his personal proclivities, even with his connections, that would have been a big problem. But he's hassling the Chinese for not five million. He wants ten million. Next, please. Text message goes on. The Bidens are the best I know at doing exactly what the chairman wants from this partnership. The chairman, the chairman of this Chinese energy company with Communist Party ties and in communist intelligence officials teaming all over the place. What is the Biden family skill? What are the Bidens actually good at? It's not building buildings. <laughs> They're good at Washington stuff thing everybody in this room and the American people definitely know is that the Biden family doesn't really have a business. There is no business structure around this family except politics. Yeah, politics. And politics can be pretty seedy, really seedy. And look at these messages from last week we saw. What is his big claim to fame? Hunter Biden is dad. My dad is right here with me, so you better pony up, right? My father, I am sitting here with my father. My father and I are waiting for your phone call. My father, the vice president of the United States. There is absolutely no way Joe Biden did not know of these communications. I mean, we know that a Burisma official met with Joe Biden when he was vice president. May I see that email, please, from uh, Mr. Vadim? Dear Hunter, thank you for inviting me to D.C. and giving an opportunity to meet your father and spend some time together. That's when his father was vice president. This is from a high-ranking Burisma official. They've been lying to us. Now, it's up to somebody else to figure out if they were breaking the law. If they weren't breaking the law, it's still pretty crummy, don't you think? And it's exactly what they said they weren't doing. And Hunter did get money from the Chinese, according to... Hunter's own attorneys, a joint venture with a privately owned legitimate energy company in China. As part of that joint venture, 
Hunter received his portion of good faith seed funds. Hunter Biden's legal team confirms that Hunter Biden received money from China. So when Joe pretended that his family received nothing from China, was he lying? Was he, was he just getting it wrong? Let's take a look. I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. I don't make money from Russia. You made three and a half million dollars, Joe. And your son gave you. They even have a statement that we have to give 10 percent to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10 percent to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? It's terrible. It is terrible. And you know what's great, though? It's glad. The reaction when Donald Trump says you're getting money from China. What? Watch this. You're getting money from China. Hello? He found that out? He's that clever? Yes, he is. And here you are. Yeah, I think you're lying. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about? China. I have not had it. The only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. May I see that statement one more time from the Hunter Biden attorneys? Joint venture, joint venture, good seed, faith, all from China, all from China. Joe was lying, and uh, the media are lying to us when they say that this has all been adjudicated and handled by a Trump-appointed official, right? Nothing to see here. It's a Trump-appointed lawyer, right? This guy, David Weiss, he's Trump-appointed. So there are a couple of hard facts here. This was a Trump appointed U.S. attorney in Delaware. U.S. attorney David Weiss. He was appointed by former President Trump. It was struck with a Trump appointed federal prosecutor, David Weiss, in Delaware. This is a sin of omission. They're leaving out the biggest part. Delaware is represented by two United States senators, and they're both Democrats. And customarily, and it happened this time, the senators recommend who the U.S. attorney is, and they both recommended this guy, Weiss. Glowing referrals of Weiss. He would be excellent, an excellent choice for U.S. attorney. A career prosecutor, I want to thank Mr. Weiss. Uh, he's great. We want Weiss. Both Democrats. Trump appointed. It was a courtesy of Donald Trump. He followed their recommendation. Nobody, nobody reports that. Nobody bothers to look, or maybe they know and they want to mislead. I don't know. But here's something. Folks are talking about another raid. You know the raid on Mar-a-Lago, right? How deeply offensive that was, I, I think, to all of us. August 8, 2022, I'll never forget when I found out that FBI agents had gone into Mar-a-Lago. And now they may be going into Bedminster, where it is that they uh, are trying to get a search warrant to go into Bedminster. That's in New Jersey. He's had a club there, I think, since the 1990s. And what are they looking for? Secret documents possibly related to Iran. Uh, we'll see about that. And let's talk about Iran for a moment. Who remembers in November of 2020? You probably don't, but they were trying to convince us that Donald Trump was keen on starting a war to take everybody's mind off of an illegal grab for power. Now, that's all fake news, but that's what they kind of said. Target Iran. Sources say President Trump recently asked his top advisors for options to attack Iran. There's been concern that he might make a move uh, against Iran in those final days. Asking about options for attacking Iran. Two major headlines this morning. The question is whether President Trump is hurting U.S. national security on his way out of office. Like Donald Trump just pulled this out of his back pocket. Let's attack uh, Iran. Why not? All right, the entire national security establishment was blinking warning lights because they were coming up on the one-year anniversary of the assassination, the death of Soleimani. Remember him? The Iranian general who was uh, basically a terrorist killed by U.S. forces on January 3rd of 2020. The one-year anniversary was coming up. And Iran, they were flexing their muscle. Take a look at this. Reuters reported in early January uh, that they were going to enrich uranium. They were going to increase the enrichment. This is a serious thing. It's what the diplomats would call provocative. And people were worried about that one-year anniversary. What did the Pentagon do? They sent B-52s 
in the direction of Iran. Do not mess with us was the message. The entire defense establishment was, was together on this. We do not see conflict, but no one should underestimate our ability to defend our forces or to act decisively in response to any attack, said General McKenzie, the head of the Pentagon's Central Command, in a statement on Wednesday, Wednesday of January of 2021. And what did Iran do ultimately? They hit our embassy. They hit our embassy, the Green Zone in, in Baghdad. We traced it to them. We know that they were behind it. So Milley is running around saying Trump is a madman. He wanted to go to war, whereas this stuff was happening. Can I go to the tape, the audio that the prosecutor released? They think this is such a big deal. I think it's actually exculpatory. Listen. That's right. Trying to overthrow your election. Well, with Milley, uh, let me see that. I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record. So I just printed up all those articles from that time about what Iran was doing with their, with their weapons and how they were attacking us and tensions were on the rise. And guess what? It's a big stack of papers. And it kind of sounds like it did in that audio tape. Next, please. But they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at him. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Now, if anything was, because they use articles, mainstream media articles all the time, they find their ways into intelligence briefings, common, it's very commonplace. But what if there was something classified in there? Could it have been what The Intercept reported uh, earlier this year, a Pentagon contingency plan for war with Iran? We had a lot of those, and inside, the U.S. military allocated spending for secret contingency operations pertaining to an Iran war plan, according to classified Pentagon budget manual listing emergency and special programs reviewed by The Intercept. That came out in March. I did not see any great big furor that they printed something that was uh, classified, because remember, it's actually no big deal. It's no big deal when The Intercept does it, and if Donald Trump did it, well, consider this. The New York Times, the Bible for the swamp back in April of 2006. May I see? Yes. The leaking of secrets has long been a favorite tool of policy debate, political combat, and diplomatic one-upsmanship. What is happening is a total con job on the American people. They're not experienced with classified material. They don't know how this works, so they're being fooled, manipulated, and it may not take that many to manipulate. Just 12 jurors, perhaps? I don't think they'll get away with it, but this is a scam. All right? Are we clear on that? Hey, can I ask you this? What's going on with Joe Biden's face? Has anybody seen the straps? Yeah, he's getting some sort of treatment for sleep apnea. Do we buy this, folks? I'll be right back.